Hello friends, my name is Amasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic the product roadmap and product backlog. Uh, friend, today's topic is very very interesting if you have interest in the scrum and agile methodology. So uh, let's start friend. First of all, I will request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend, uh, what is basically the comparison and uh, what is product backlog and what is product roadmap? Friend, product roadmap uh, the, uh, is and product backlog. Stiffer uh, shepherd a product from the early strategic uh, conceptualization to development to market release in two distinct and complementary ways. The product roadmap communicates high level strategic objectives and priorities versus the product backlog is a list of tasks that serve the roadmap strategic plan actually. Product roadmap versus product backlog. There are three key differences actually. The product roadmap includes high level themes versus the backlog includes task level jobs such as stories and, and uh, defects. The product roadmap's audience will include your executive team versus the backlog is an internal document primarily for the product and development teams. The roadmap conveys your strategy versus the backlog conveys your plan to implement it. The product roadmap is a high level tool to help a product manager capture organize and communicate their product strategic goals and plans a quick glance at your roadmap should convey where you are taking your product over the uh, coming months and even years as well as your strategic reasoning for doing so whether it's because of an opportunity you are identified in the market strong user demand competitive pressure or a combination of factors typical items on a roadmap will include high level product themes and possibly epics the product backlog list and prioritizes the task level details required to execute on the strategic plan set forth in the roadmap a quick glance at your backlog should convey what's next on your development teams to do list as they execute on your roadmap's big picture vision. Typical items on a product backlog include product stories, bug fixes and other tasks. Why the product roadmap and product backlog must be separate? As you can understand, the product roadmap and product backlog both serve important functions in a product development, but these functions are very different. This is why these tools should be used in conjunction with each other, but not interchangeably. Without a high level overview of your product strategic objectives and plans, you cannot effectively build a useful list of tasks in priority other for developing the product. So you need a standalone clutter-free strategic roadmap to capture and communicate this strategy. At the same time, until you can translate your roadmap's big picture ideas and strategies into an actionable list of specific tasks in other words, the backlog, your roadmap wouldn't mu do much good in helping you drive your product's actual development because you will not be able to tell your team specifically what to work on next. So equally important to your roadmap is an organized and intelligently prioritized product backlog to help keep your development team focused on the right task at the right time. This is also why you do not want to mix these two tools or use only one to serve both purposes. A roadmap with too much tactical detail can cause teams to lose sight of the strategic big picture 
and a backlog that focuses on higher level strategic items can leave the team without a clear plan for what ground level tasks to tackle next. Using the product backlog in alongside the product roadmap. If the roadmap and backlog should be used together as complementary tools, how should a product team uh, can go about this? Here are few suggestions the product roadmap comes first. Before you can begin prioritizing a specific product development task, you first need to have an over uh, overarching a strategic vision for the product your why. You will almost certainly also need to receive the green light from your executive team and other stakeholders to move forward with your product's strategic plan before you can begin deploying budget, developers, time and other company resources to executing on that plan. For these reasons, you should develop your roadmap first and determine your product's high-level objectives, priorities and plans. Then you can begin translating that big picture strategy into a backlog of tasks, stories and specific action items for your development team. Always keep your roadmap and backlog in sync. It will also be important that you make sure your roadmap and backlog are actually working together which means they are always in sync and are both up to date as opposed to becoming increasingly standalone documents that tell different stories. In practical terms, this means regularly referring back to your roadmap to make sure the items prioritized on your backlog still represent the roadmap's strategic objectives and priorities. It also means always keeping your backlog organized and lean and never allowing it to become a ba black hole where everyone simply throws in their ideas and requests. Use purpose-built task management and roadmap software apps to make connecting both tools easy. Finally, the easiest and most effective way to synchronize your roadmap and backlog will be to use the right tools to create and maintain both ideally purpose-built web apps that communicate with each other and allow you to connect your roadmap and backlog directly. One example of this scenario would be to use the integration between uh, the uh, web-based roadmap app and Jira project management software. So you can connect your product roadmap to your backlog and convert the strategic plans directly into task level details and vice versa as well. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.